In this video, I want to show you how you can move your designs from Design Space to StarCraft Create. So let's come over here to Cricut Design Space. Now, if your grid is on, just click in this upper left corner where the square is blank until you have a blank screen with just your image. And then you're going to use your snipping tool. If you don't know where that is, on a Windows computer, uh, just type it in your search bar and it will come up. I keep mine on my taskbar because I use it often. All right, so this box is going to pop up. Just click on New, and your screen's going to go a little gray, but that's okay. Um, just draw a box around your image, and then you're going to click the Save button and save it to 420-ish because I had a 420, okay? Uh, save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it to, okay? And then come over to Create, and let's go to File, Place Image, and then find that image, okay? Once you've done that, come up here to Trace, or you can go File, Trace Image, all right? You want Blackout checked, and add image layer checked. Okay. Now, if if you see red lines around your letters and your images, then you need to raise this up. Okay. Um, when I first tried this, I had cut lines around everything in here, and that's not what I want. So you can turn this image down, and once you hit update preview, you'll see the red cut line. And that's what I want. Don't worry that my rest of my image isn't there. It will be, okay? So click OK, and then when you go to your Cut Preview screen and you turn your printable off, you'll see that it's going to cut, okay? So if you have an offset around your um, image, leave it there, and it will trace everything, okay? Now, I tried this... Um, earlier when I was checking things out. Um, let me go ahead and duplicate this. Oh, I should have grouped it. Let me undo that. Let me select all this and um, I guess it is grouped. All right, so let me duplicate it and move it over here and I'll duplicate it two more times. So I have four images here. Okay, so now what I want to do is come back to my snipping tool and click on new and draw a box around all of these and save as uh, 424. <clears throat> okay, and then close that out, come back to StarCraft. Let's go ahead and delete. Oh, that's another thing I forgot. Um, you want to delete your original image and just keep the one with the cut line, okay? Sorry about that, I forgot. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to File, Place Image, and I'm gonna choose this one, and then I'm going to Trace, and I have red lines around all four. You can zoom in if you need to or fit to page. All right, blackout is checked, add image layer is checked, and click on OK. And then separate those. As you can see, when I click on it, I have those cut lines around my circles. This one, I do not. So I delete that, OK, and then come to my preview. And you can see that my cut lines are right around my printable. So if you have projects saved in Cricut Design Space of images that are not Cricut images or Cricut fonts, because we don't want anyone getting in trouble, uh, if you have projects saved, you there. Is actually a transparent PNG of that project on your computer already. 
So what you need to do is open your file explorer and um, go to uh, either this PC, local disk C, or here to local disk C, and then click on users, find your account name, Cricut Design Space, local data, and then click on these numbers here, and then Canvas. And these are all the projects that you have saved in Cricut Design Space. Now I don't have a lot because I use Inkscape and I save all my stuff there rather than in Design Space. But let's just choose one. Preview the PNG and then on these three little dots here, click on this and save as. And we'll just call it, I think I have it saved already. Yeah, Peace Love Crafting and save. Now, mine's going to ask me if I want to save it again, and I'm going to click yes, but you shouldn't have that box pop up. All right, so then once I do that, then I can import the Peace Love Crafting here. Okay, so let me zoom out here. And, or actually come to style and we'll make this three inches okay now if I come to my preview you can see I already have the cut lines just around the images okay so don't worry about this big old box because that's all transparent all right so if I come up to the top of my page I have my print margins turned on in my document panel I can put this up here as long as what's going to print is inside my print margins this box up here doesn't matter okay and if I want to duplicate it and put that down here this box can be up here because again this is all transparent so if I go to my preview you can see that it's going to cut fine and it's going to print fine all right so that's another way that you can save it um, you can also save a PDF file um, in Cricut Design Space, but I think these two options are probably best. Uh, if you have a bunch of single images that you want to bring over to create, uh, you can do that. You can put them all on, you know, one page. Well, it's not really a page in design space it's um, the canvas you know put them all on the canvas and then um, save that project and then come to your file explorer local disk C users and your user account Cricut design space local data this number and canvas and then all your projects will show up here all right, so I think between those two options, you should be able to get what you need out of Design Space and into Create. Thanks for watching.